Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use the Snagit or Screencastify app in Google Chrome or on your Chromebook to make a screencast. So the first thing you need to do is go over to these three lines and make sure that you're logged in with your Google Apps for Education account. So you can go down here to settings, click that, and then you want to make sure that you are signed in. Once you do that, if this is the first time that you're signing in, it's going to ask you, do you want to link the data? And yes, you do want to do that. So you want to get that in. Um, and then what you're going to do is it'll, it takes a few minutes for these extensions to load. And um, the Snagit and the Screencastify ones have been pushed out by the district for us to use. So for the Snagit application, you hit the S. And then over here, you want to make sure that the microphone is active. If it is muted, you're going to need to select that, and then up here it'll pop up and say allow. Once you've allowed the microphone, you can hit um, under video where it says screen, and you want to do the entire screen and hit share. Notice when I do this down here, it'll say that I'm sharing my screen, and as I talk, it's going to go ahead and record. So once you're done sharing, uh, whatever you want to screencast, you hit stop sharing, and you give your video a title. And the cool thing about this one is that it automatically saves it to your Google Drive. So you can get the Google Drive link here, you can send it to YouTube, or you can make it as an animated GIF, um, which is an image file. So in your Google Drive, let me show you real quick where these videos go. Everybody in their Google Drive should have a folder that is called TechSmith right here. And oops, I went too far. Um, and in TechSmith, you'll have the videos that you've made. So you can see this is the one I just made, the test one. So um, that's how you're going to go ahead and make your screencast. Remember, once you have made your video, um, then you can go ahead and submit it uh, if you're participating in the online course. So let me show you the second Chrome extension that we have for using screencasts. We have the Screencastify app, which is right up here. And again, you're going to need to allow the microphone. See how it's going across here as green? That means that it's picking up my voice. So you need to make sure that that's allowed. The other thing you might want to do is if you go to Settings and hit Options, you can make sure that they save automatically to your Google Drive. That way you don't have to worry about downloading them, especially if you're, if you're on a uh, Chromebook. So you're going to hit um, Screencastify. Oh, where do we go? Hold on, did I close the... Here, it's back here. There we go. Um, so now you just hit start recording. And you go ahead. And you start talking and talking. There's going to be a little bit of a lag time because I've got so many things open. And I'm also using a different tool to screencast right now. But once it starts recording, there's going to be a little red button up here that will tell you that you're recording and then you just hit stop recording when you're done and then it automatically goes to your Google Drive like the Snagit extension did. So those are two options for screencasting. By no means are those the only ones, but those are two easy ones to get you started right away. Uh, thanks so much. Have a great day.